Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to ask you one simple thing this evening. Can Kenya be able to audit 2022 presidential result? And in which kind of rules can that happen? Recently, the Kenya Kwanzaa and Asimio, they agreed that they were going to have bipartisan talks. And in the bipartisan talks, it has come up again that one of the agenda will be, which will be actually be discussed, will be about doing 2022 presidential audit. Can that be done? And if it is done, what good will it have to the people of Kenya? Or what meaning will it bring to the people of Kenya? That is the question we need to ponder about and discuss about it candidly this evening. But before we do that, I could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And whenever you subscribe, to this YouTube channel, always make sure to hit the not uh, the notification bell. Because once you hit the notification bell, it means that whenever we abroad any political content into YouTube, you will be notified so that you can watch the content. And for those ones who have actually subscribed to this YouTube channel, I cannot become tired to say thank you, may God bless you abundantly because you are the one who are actually giving us this kind of strength and spirit to continue coming up with this kind of content. And now let us go back to the discussion of the day. Can we really have an audit to what happened in 2022 presidential election during the month of August. Can we do the audit about that? And in which framework can we be able to do that? Because Asimio still maintains that 2022 presidential election, an audit must be done. And that has come up in the bipartisan talks. And Rigathi Kashawa, who is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, has come out clearly and has told President William Samuel Ruto that we allowed so that we can have bipartisan talk. But when it comes to 2022 presidential election, then we cannot allow anything called auditing to be done because we finished election. And we had fair and free election according to various international observers and local observers that 2022 presidential election was given a white card. That means it was done under the Kenyans' rule and elections was free and fair. And that means we don't have any 
constitutional framework of doing presidential audit. That is what Riga Thigashawa has told President William Samoy Ruto, and he has said no, no to that. So to you, do you think that it is easy to do a president, uh, 2022 presidential audit? And what does that mean? And does that add any quality to Kenya? All that will bring chaos to the republic. And is that provided in our constitution? So those are hard questions we must ask ourselves. But if you look at our constitution, there is no way we can do that audit. Actually, what the opposition want is like growing hot hair. It will never come to be that we finished election one year ago and now you are telling us that we do an audit to that election and we don't have any provision in our constitution on how we do that because the constitution of Kenya provides that <laughs> if we add to an election and you feel aggrieved and you feel that the election was not done properly it never followed the rules and the regulation of the land then you move to the supreme court of kenya and what the supreme court of kenya declares it becomes final that is what we call finality if it says that the election was done with very many irregularities and it needs to be repeated that is what is supposed to be done and if the supreme court says that the election was done fair and free and is it upholds that election then that becomes the end of the discussion so what Asimio is asking is actually something which cannot be achieved it is something which cannot bring any benefit in the republic of kenya it is as if saying that let us have a system or let us amend our constitution so that even if we go to the Supreme Court of Kenya, then we can have a way of doing an election audit and which is not beneficial to us, which has never been done in any country in the world. Because worldwide, it is universal that if election is done and you add to the Supreme Court of that country and then the, the, the supreme court declares that election valid it means that everything is closed now the chapter is closed the only thing you can do is that if you were able to know to notice various regularities then you can come and put rules to safeguard that in the next election so what asmio are asking for they are actually calling for something which is impossible which cannot be done and if it will be done it does not have any benefit to the kenyans i don't know what's your take my fellow listeners in which kind of framework are we going to do 2022 presidential election audit? Is it provided in our laws after the, the judgment of the Supreme Court of Kenya? Please drop your comment 
in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I could request you kindly to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that at any moment we come up with any political content, then YouTube can be in the position to notify you so that you can watch the content. And also, give this video and all our other videos a like. Share the videos to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then request them for us to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Because this is the only YouTube channel where we analyze politics in a democratic way, fair and without any fear. And for those ones who have subscribed to this YouTube channel, I say thank you so much. May God bless you because you always give us the inspiration to continue coming up with this kind of political analysis. And with that, I say thank you until we meet in our next political conversation.